with my 6090 parts. Now this kit, a lot of times with pistons, uh, the Sonex uh, pressure switch kit, the uh, Sonex pressure regulator valve. Uh, most times this uh, piston. This one's got a goofy complaint. I've never had this complaint before. It says it makes a grinding noise on every time it shifts. It goes away as soon as it goes into the next gear. I couldn't find anything on this unit other than the converters coming apart like most of them. Just find some bulletins about these two bearings that are in there that have a tendency to make noise. And uh, I didn't see anything wrong with the bearings, but I'm going to replace them anyway. And the filter. And then these pistons. Can you see this? Little, get little stringy things coming out of these pistons. Especially these two normally do it. I always replace the pistons when they're doing that, so. That or got water in it. Um, hopefully this is going to take care of that noise. I don't know. I'm hoping it was a torque converter that was making the noise. We shall find out when we get it back in the vehicle. I'll show you some other things later on. And one thing I forgot, put a bushing kit in every one of them. One thing you're going to want to do is get your air blower. This is best when it's uh, hot and you got oil around the outside right here. What you're going to do is you take your air blower you're going to blow air if you can see right in that area right there where this this well does do like that. You don't want any air coming out except for where this bleed hole is right here. If there's air coming out this drum's cracked. This piston likes to crack right down in here and sometimes it's very very hard to see. I almost forgot this is the late style planet where it's all one piece. The earlier ones have a ring gear that you can take off. This uh, is a different height. You can swap this out. This is the stouter one. It's, it's actually an update. And when you change this out you got to change the speed sensors on the back of your valve body because they're a different height. Big snap ring has a bevel. Bevel goes up. Opening goes at the 9 o'clock position. And it really helps to have these snap ring pliers. It's a real pain. It is really stiff. drum. There's a blind spot on the where the snap ring groove is. The opening of the snap ring goes right there. And there also be one on the top one. Right here. Opening of the snap ring will go right here on this one. Alright, pump modifications on this. The first thing I do on these pumps, when the converters are coming apart, it always scores this up and scores up the bell housing side. I just take a Scotch Bright pad on my die grinder and I, I just buff it flat. And I've had a lot of people say, well, it looks too bad to, to buff it. I buff every damn one of them. And I I've had some pretty deep ones and I have yet to have a problem with them. I have a couple buddies that said that they did and they had pressure problems but I have a feeling that the pressure problem was coming from this PR valve likes to wear out. So I always put the Sonex valve in it and I just, uh, the heavy drill hole right here, I just use my center punch. Wore out about 
time for another one. I give you the drill bit. It's a uh, forty-two thousand, I believe. Just drill it. And there, these drill bits are pretty good, so. Hang on to them. Some of the dr best drill bits I've seen come in these kits. Usually they give you them really crappy ones. Got a rope in right there that uh, holds that in. See how that's all shiny? All that anodized came off. It's just leaking past that valve. I haven't had to ream one out yet. They make an oversized one. I've been lucky enough that I just put these in there. These uh, lands are a lot longer. They go in a different area, so it usually doesn't doesn't make that big of a difference. Got your two PR springs. Now the inner one likes to hang up. You need to make sure it gets down inside there. And the way you do that heard it pop in there but sometimes it doesn't and it just makes this really really stiff to push like it just came back out I should quit screwing around and uh, just make sure it's really easy to uh, move the valve it'll be a lot stiffer if that spring's not down in the center and then you're going to get all kinds of high pressure problems oh, forgot these newer kits, they didn't used to give it to you, but the new kits are uh, giving you a new spring. Used to just get the drill bit that deals to plug this hole and the valve. Now they're giving you a new spring. they give you is give you two of these little balls and you're supposed to put one in there cut plug there and block that off Take it in just to make damn sure it don't it don't come back out. Something else I run into on these pumps. I had one that came back and it just smoked the one, two, three, fours, four, five, sixes, and the uh, 3-5 reverse. I took it apart. I checked the weld on that drum. Sure enough, it was cracked. I thought, yeah, this is it. Put a new drum in it. Slapped it back together. It made it around the block. 
and smoke the same clutches, the one, two, three, fours, three, fives reverse, and the four, five, sixes. And I took it back apart, got the new clutches, put them in there, and started air checking everything. I had a really massive leak. It was this gasket right here. I don't know if you can see that right there. That's what it looked like. So, be sure and make sure this is flat and that you replace this gasket. Alright, early style rings and have expanders behind them. And they just spin around on the stator. You see how the cutouts here for the updated ones. You take expander rubbers behind it and this really helps out uh, with sealing up that drum. What will happen is on them early pumps it won't seal well when it gets hot and you'll end up having two three flares or falling out of gear and just all kinds of weird crap that, that goes on with that uh, early stator and uh, it's expensive to get an updated one but it's the only way you're going to make the unit stay out there you just got to pony up the money I think it's uh, $240 wholesale from the dealership so they just fit in those grooves right there I know it don't seem right, but the front seals just push in by hand. I haven't had one leak yet, but it just don't seem very good. Run into this a few times on these parking paws. This uh, beat off, and this piece will come out the end here. You know, keep it engaged in park or partially in park when you put it in reverse. I've even had them so bad that it uh, come all the way off and it stayed in park all the time. So I've only seen it a few times, but I have seen it. Change your O-ring and your seal here. As always on my GMs, I reuse the rubber and the plastic piece. play around with these to get that guide ring in the right spot. And the time for this crap. Make a tool that you can use to put that in. I use a screwdriver. This hole right here is for your dowel pin. I 
just using my 4L60 line up band. I was not made for it, but it works good enough for me. I ain't going to spend another $100 on a line up band. This hole, this hole. Make sure that these two bolts are started before the rest of them because if it's not lined up properly, you're going to have a hard time getting those in there. It's much tighter clearance on those two holes. It's almost like they could have made them line up holes, which I don't know why they didn't. And you wouldn't need the tool. Snug. I mean, it's going to start pulling up on here, but all you're concerned about with is that it's centered on the sides, and it does that. So, by that hole right there so it's going to take the extra ball right there 